right, Snow Cup recap. So, um, pretty, pretty fun cup, pretty exciting cup. Uh, it was our biggest cup in terms of total honey per person. I mean, I think the new blood was great. All of, uh, all the new additions, Bird was new, JP was new, Freck was new, uh, well, re-new. Um, you guys all had huge cups overall. Um, I had kind of split them up, kind of what I thought you guys might be able to do, and you guys blew, uh, blew the, the, my expectations out of the water. Um, so we had to, if you guys remember at the beginning of last cup, we had to adjust a couple, uh, adjust teams a little bit. Um, I started out on the wannabes. It was me, Ames, Durf, Bird, uh, and Cheese. Um, and we kind of got up to a quick start. Um, there was one team that, had the I think they were the, the something, the, the Barely Sobers or something like that at the time. Uh, and they kind of got off to a slow start, so we had kind of an emergency shuffle. Uh, I jumped over, we renamed ourselves uh, the Riders of Rohan. Deb hopped over um, and grabbed the wannabes, uh, and we kind of went from there. Um, first week, little little rough. Um, I kind of came in a little little hot into the group chat. Um, they were super stoked to have me. Let me tell you, they loved my uh, the riders loved my uh, my encouragement through the cup. I'll tell you that all the time. Um, but we we got some good results. Uh, we won the second week, which was super, which we were super proud of. We had a great week. Um, but then the wannabes struck back. I, I saw a couple texts from them going back and forth that they sent me um, where they're talking about us looming and stuff like that. So it was fun fun to see a little bit of the going back. Some good team work by the wannabes. I saw you guys rallying to, to get the core, core goals gone and stuff like that. So it was pretty cool to see. Um, came down to the stretch big time. I mean, I, I think in the final weekend, uh, the riders Rohan and the wannabes were, were, were juggling back and forth on uh, who was gonna get it. Um, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun stuff. Uh, I, we were all doing. We were doing crazy bike rides down the stretch. A couple saboteurs. I know Ames was. Uh, I think Ames was trying to hold down Woods with with uh, with the kids at some point, and then Woods was te texting us in terms of, "Hey, Ames is, is stuck. Her car broke down, or something like that. She's not gonna be able to get honey." Um, and then I think me and Dab were. Dab was trying to keep me playing Xbox or something like that, so he could sneak off for for late bike rides. So it was fun back and forth. It was good, good, good win down the stretch. But ultimately. The wannabes were the champions, so 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 great job by them. Uh, first time Shire isn't on the winning winning team, which is a which is a blow for me. But but we're coming back strong. The the honey train is already already rolling, already in first place on this next cup. So, so we're coming back strong. Are you ready, Boots? Yeah. Start All right. So running through the um, the final results uh, team by team, quick. Uh, I wanted to highlight because. Uh, Almost everybody had uh, or either record honey or, or a big, big jump from the honey before. So I wanted to go over and kind of show, uh, I think last time I highlighted that some of us were, or a bunch of us were down. So I wanted to kind of bump the positive and show that we were up. Um, so looking at bees in the trap first, third place, 479 total points. Uh, JP leading the way, 138 honey, hell of a, hell of a debut cup. Uh, Nolio right behind him, 131. Uh, that's his highest, highest cup ever. Um, 46 honey up from the week before. Oz, 82. He's coming back, 8, 84. 48 honey up from the from the previous cup. Lil, she's pretty consistent. Uh, only six up before, but still, still great stuff. And Jux was actually one of the only people in in, in, in the full cup that um, was down from the previous one before. So, so pretty good by by the bees in the shop. Even though even though they came third, good job by by a lot of you guys. Um, Riders Rohan next. Um, biggest cup ever um, for, for me and for, for anyone, 235 honey um, for Shire, uh, up 26 from, the, from the, the cup before. Freck, my man, Freck, you were killing it. Um, both on the, on the, in, the, in the honey game and then chatting too, I love I that you kept uh, keeping us up to date. Love, love the pictures of Winston, so, so it's good, good, good to have you back, Freck. Um, up 70 honey from his highest cup um, from his previous stint here. Uh, Cad, big Cad's, Cad's, Cad's back. Uh, he's up to 108 honey, bunch of bike miles, 69 honey, more than the one before. Wagons getting into gear, 61 honey. And Woods up five honey from the one before. So, so we did pretty good. Um, we, you know, it was a rough start, but the riders, I'm proud of you guys. Good work, boys. It was a fun cup. Uh, and then finally, the champs, the wannabes, 583 honey. Oh boy, big, big cup. Um, Two, two champs and two studs at the top. Dab and Bird, almost 170 each. Um, a little down for Dab, but but still huge. Uh, you know, uh, 170 honey, that's a lot of honey. Uh, and then three solid players right behind him. Durf, Ames, and Cheese, all 80 honey. Those are, those are all solid weeks. So good job by you guys, full team effort. Um, great job and uh, excited to, to roll with a couple of these guys uh, on our next cup. Rough, rough 
camera day for me. Um, all right, running through running through the shops in the squats here quick. Uh, just want to highlight a couple individual ones. Um, for shops, six six thousand five hundred shops. I did a ton of shops last cup, so that's that's the most ever by by anyone in a cup. Um, cheese and Durf, look at those huge that huge jump. I, I highlighted you guys over fifteen hundred a piece. Um, huge jump from from the cups before. So good job by you guys putting it in there. Um, squats, uh, Bird taking the squats title, five thousand squats. Uh, that's usually that's usually Lil. So so good job by you taking her crown there. Um, Durf, Oz, oh, and then Ames and Wagon. I wanted to highlight you guys. Ames, huge jump in, in total squats. And, and Wagon as well, almost doubled. So so great work there. Uh, moving down, um, looking at distance honey. So Nolio, great job. Over 101 distance honey. Uh, that's, a, that's a ton of distance. I know he was hitting the bike up a bunch. Um, and then, although now he's, he's getting the rollerblade game. I like that. That's a cool, cool addition. And then Cad right behind him, the Steam Bros. Steam Bros killing it in the, uh, in the distance honey game. So... So good job by them. And then Woods, 33, 33 of his 41 honey on the distance honey. So, so good job keep, keeping it up there. Uh, let's see, core honey. Ooh, the Scots. The Scots are killing it on, on the core honey. 37 core honey for Shire and Ames with 31. Uh, and then Cheese up in a big way. 28 core honey for Cheese. So, so great job by her uh, putting, putting it in on that category there. And then finally, a couple of the... Uh, the uh, smaller ones here, pull-ups and wall sits. Um, I don't even need pull-ups. People do pull-ups. Uh, wall sits. This is... So I wanted to highlight 91 for Bird, 91 for Ames. You guys are champs. That's 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 impressive. That's a, that's a good good addition. I'm glad you guys are, are capitalizing this. And I also wanted to highlight the... What do we got? The five, really the smartest people in the Buds Fitness who didn't do a single damn minute of wall sits because those things are tough. Uh, Wagon, Nolio, Jux... Durf Cat, you guys are the smart ones in the group because those things are a pain in the butt. Um, so I thought that was funny that, that there was a bunch of us that didn't do any of those. Um, so yeah, so good work by, by a bunch of you guys individually and we'll check in on those uh, next couple. All right, moving on to the draft review. So um, this cup that we're in right now, Puddle Cup, uh, I went, I don't know, I'm just picking stuff that I see outside when we're running, I guess. Um, Puddle Cup, so we had three women with the captains approach this time. So um, Bird, Dab, and myself were the three captains. Uh, we gave Bird the first pick, Dab second pick, and then I took Shire, and we, we do a snake draft as, as always. Um, Bird started off picking a girl, Lil. Um, powerful choice. Uh, she's super consistent. Um, Dad followed up with JP. Newcomer JP. Good job. Getting getting an early pick. Uh, I went back to back. I went Cad, and then I wanted. To, I, I knew Oz had a, had a big cup in him. He, he had slipped off a little bit, so so I hadn't had a chance to get uh, Oz on the team yet. So I grabbed him. Uh, Dad decided to slide in Freck. Super solid. Um, I was talking to Freck a little bit. I did to, to, to boost this this draft stop up to Dad. So I'm glad. Dad, or I'm glad Freck took him, and he's having a great cup already. Good job, man. Um, next up, Bird had back to back, so she grabbed Nolio and Durf. Um, finally, we went back to Dab, who grabbed Cheese, and then I had a couple back to backs. I went my my sister Ames, and then Wagon, and then Woods, and then Jux rounded it up. So we got five pretty good teams. Uh, Bird went with Buzz Kills. I think I think I think it wasn't the most uh, active group when she started the group chat or something like that. So she went with the Buzz Kills. Um, Dab, this is, you know, we always have one weird name uh, on the team, the Honey Chafers. I had to like, like, ask around to make sure that that's, that's really how you guys want to pronounce it, but I think Honey Chafers is what they're going for. Uh, and then finally, Choo -choo, the Honey Train, the, the current leaders, uh, Shire Cat, Oz, Ames, and Wagon, uh, rounding out the Honey Train. So, um, fun draft. Uh, we're gonna know the draft this time. I like the drafts. Drafts are fun. Uh, we'll, we'll pick some new captains for, for the next cup. Um, and yeah, let's go over the new additions. All right, couple couple tweaks, couple additions, um, and a couple new bonus categories that, that we're adding uh, this time. So let me just run these down. I think you guys should all, all know about these by now. Um, but uh, the hike and walk bike, uh, the hike and walk buff. So you guys finally got to me there. Um, we're gonna change it from five to five miles for one honey to four miles to one honey. Um, but I do want to emphasize, and I, I sent this to the group, but let's make them like, you know, legit, like I'm gonna go out for a walk, not just like, hey, I happen to walk, you know, a half, you know, a half a mile and I'm gonna record that or whatever. Like, let's make these like, you know, exercise blocks, um, which you guys have been doing a good job with that. Uh, to coincide with that, well, I'll keep, I'll keep going in order. Uh, I also added two new quarter categories, sports honey. So if you're playing approved 
Shire, you know, we're gonna argue about this for sure. I, I know I'm gonna to get, this is gonna be a pain. But if you guys text me and you say, hey, I'm playing this, like, can, can I record this sports honey? I'm probably gonna say yes. Um, blade honey for Nolio, he's out there in his roller blades. Man, I'm seeing all the kids. Blades are back, Nolio. I'm seeing all the kids uh, riding their blades. Uh, two miles on your blades equals one honey um, there. A uh, couple bonus tweaks. Um, the dog pick, pick bonus. This was awesome the first week. No, nobody. I don't think anybody has cashed him in the second week. So we need to bring those back. Um, I'll give you a half honey if you if you're out on your walk and you bring your dog and you send a you send a picture of your dog. Um, with that, I'll give you give you a half honey. That was fun fun for the first first week we did that. So hopefully we can keep that get back going. Uh, but I'm only gonna do that once per week. Um, but a, but a good way to get a, get a get a couple honey over time. Um, wall sits. Uh, I move them to a weekly candy. So if you if you do the most wall sits in a week, uh, you're gonna get a bonus category just like top shups, just like top squats. So they're all they're on there now. Um, Hive health days. Um, this was a big one. This was I guess Ames originally brought this to me up, and I, I guess I didn't I didn't like it back then, but I liked it now. Sorry about that, Ames. Um, but Bird suggested, hey, like can I get a little bit more for for a time off because two honey, you know, kind of hurt hurts the balance of the team. Um, so what we're going to do is instead of just two honey for everyone when you use your hive health day, uh, it's going to be like the equivalent of like one day from your previous cup. So if you did 112 honey in the previous cup, you know, you divide that by 28 because there's 28 days in the cup. Um, and so that's going to give you plus four honey if you're there. Um, so it's just a little bit of way to kind of keep things going. Um, I've had to use a couple bit. I'm nursing this knee injury. So um, it's been good, good for me to actually... Um, chill chill down a little bit i've actually needed a little bit so it's been good um and then yeah so that that's everything for this cup um coming soon a couple couple things that i wanted to kind of hint you hint you guys off on uh row row meters um bird bought some cool rowing machine so we're gonna get some um we're gonna get some sort of row distance or row time or something like that in there so if you guys are i don't know maybe i don't know nolio you can maybe get get something out in the lake or something like that that behind you find your house or something um, but we're gonna get we're gonna get a category for that next next cup, uh, and then I'm gonna tweak the bike miles a little bit. Um, if you guys remember, I buffed the bike miles from four miles down to three miles uh, right before winter to try to kind of get us hyped up and get us all on the indoor bike game and stuff like that. And I might have gotten a lot. I've talked to you guys a couple individually about this. I might have gotten it might have been might be a little little bit of an easy way to get honey compared to some of the other ones. So we might uh, we might chill that out a little bit. Um, it's it's at least going to go to three and a half, maybe four. Um, if you if you're passionate about it, either way, let me know. Um, that'll, that'll be some good feedback. Um, so yeah, so that's it for everything for this new cup and the next one. Um, well, there might be some other things. Let me know. Um, so let's yeah, let's get to a raffle. These things slip the curl. This is Mr. Cat and Sugar Ray riding through. Want me to tell a man she have been intoxicated, but I love a high man like a genie. Put a call with a fly. So me say a virgin to me, I beg her to be the first try. So the water come. All right, and finally we have our T-shirt drawing. So we are gonna give away two T-shirts. Uh, these green beans right here. Uh, I've got I've got birds, bird and cheese here. We gotta get these guys these out to you guys so you can start repping the buds. Um, yeah, we'll get your name on them. So uh, a couple people have already won them, so it's just the remaining names left. So let's pull a couple more winners. And the first one is, here we go, Murph Durf. Murph Durf gets a t-shirt. And the next one is, Kia! The truck wagon gets another t-shirt. So we are going to get those made. Thanks again to Ames, our, uh, our designer, for, for, for putting those together for us. Um, and yeah, uh, great cup already. Uh, we're off to a great start. Um, looking forward to, to another great cup. So uh, have, have fun out there. Proud of you guys. Awesome, awesome snow cup. Uh, our best cup ever. So let, let's keep it up.